Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is technical analysis of the stock market today. Today is Thursday, March 12th, and we're going to take a look at the uh, markets the way we usually do and uh, indicators, key ETFs. Five stocks tonight GoPro, Lululemon, Las Vegas Sands, Melco Crown Entertainment, and Cena. Okay, we're going to start off here with uh, the Dow Industrials, which was up a whopping 259 points today. So uh, not as big as the, the big down day that we had uh, to the downside on Tuesday. But it's interesting that remember my post on Saturday and I talked about, okay, so this was Friday. So I went back and I was looking at all the big down days since December, okay, since this peak. And so looking at the kind of big down days that we had in here, and I was looking to see, okay, how long would it take? Because I was still thinking we had a bullish scenario going on. So, so how long is it going to take to get back above the cl Friday's close? Well, on Monday it did, but then it came back down again, which really was no surprise. But now here we are back closing above Friday's close. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. I want to see a couple closes above the 10 in here and start to break the highs and, and pull back up. We'll see whether or not we get any follow through. Uh, so we've, we've held at a little bit, old, slightly over 50% retracement on the Dow and about the same thing here on the S&P 500. And again, as I said, you know, we're not really out of the woods yet. I'd like to see closes back above the 10 like, like you did down in here. Uh, you know, you know, the next day get some follow through that type of thing. So that's what we'll be looking for because I'm still holding this this count, this wave count, because this is what the market's telling us as of right now. Um, let's see if we're seeing any. I hate when it does that. That's of no value. That's the ATR. Uh, so again, we didn't get into uh, oversold territory like we did over here. But we never did, you know, any of these sell-offs here in um, in January either. Uh, so, you know, now we, we're not back above the 50 line in the RSI, which I like to see. Uh, we still got DI minus above DI plus, but that can change fairly quickly the way that things are pointing. So uh, we'll see what kind of follow through tomorrow and into Monday that we get uh, NASDAQ. Again, the, this only retraced 38.2%. Uh, and um, let's see, this is Friday, I think, 6. So this one's not back as strong uh, as in the S&P 500. Didn't quite make it. Now, the Dow did. So, I, you know, I'm sitting here talking about the market coming back. Well, the Dow did. S&P 500 hasn't quite made it yet. New York Composite, same thing, hasn't made it and isn't back above the blue line. So can't get too excited yet. You know, one day, one day, uh, one day big rally does not make uh, does not make the bull move resume for sure. So Russell 2000. Now look how strong this was. Okay, because this is the sixth. This is last Friday, and this is back above the high of last Friday. And matter of fact, it's higher than last Thursday and Wednesday. So this is this is a pretty strong move by the Russell 2000 in here, uh, kind of a continuation. And again, you know, you've got the intermediate and long term trend is still to the high side and the short term trend is trying to turn there. So Russell 2000 is looking and acting bullish. Let's take a look at short term trading index. This is pulled back down, got got a couple low readings in here. So it's pulled back down a little bit. Never did get above that uh, green line. Uh, in terms of the 10 day, the, the VIX collapsed, of course, so you expect it on a day like today. Now, the reason I was kind of wondering about whether we we're really going to get some follow through here on the VIX high side because of the way this 21 day moving average was trending down like this, had broken below the 55, trending down. I mean, this is a pure counter trend move. Uh, and so we'll see. I mean, you could, you know, this is the first thrust up. It could pull back and then and then launch again, uh, or we collapse back down below this blue line, the 10, 10 day, and it starts to base in here. So uh, we'll just, uh, you know, have to see. Right now, it's kind of confirming the uh, the move up today. Um, high low index two came back kind of strong. You know, back above the 10. 61 more new highs than new lows today. Uh, and, uh, you know, back up into this territory that we had up here. 
and uh, but again it's back in positive territory and let's see see well I wanted to look at the McClellan oscillator which is on the New York composite so this got into oversold territory here and then bounced back pretty nicely here uh, we're not back above zero but you know we're out of this oversold area now you know we did we did you know we're not we don't have a setup like um, it's a W looking type deal you know this looks like a little bit of a distorted W in here but it doesn't create any divergence of any kind but it doesn't need to you know it doesn't have to I'm just you know commenting on the way it's looking and acting all right let's take a look at the uh, the high yield uh, bond fund look at some of these key uh, market ETFs and see what's going on again here this came right off that trend line that I talked about uh, on Tuesday and is has rallied off of that and uh, so you know kind of a risk on type mode which is exactly you know the markets rallying and um, TLT 20-year Treasury bond you know this this rallied but then came back down and closed just a fraction lower almost unchanged in here so uh, you know bonds rallying uh, lower interest rates and then kind of pulls back so um, not sure we've broken this down trend line uh, but it's a fairly steep trend line it's not super flat uh, so uh, I'm not sure how much play we're going to get off of it but we did break the trend line to the upside and again we you know I showed you the last time we had pretty good divergence on this move down in here you know it, the indicators did not confirm this move which kind of helps support this this thrust up through this trend line so we we still may get some more I mean we'll have to just continue to watch this um, the dollar index I hope this updated because it didn't earlier let me refresh it no doggone it still showing yesterday and I think it pulled back a little bit I don't know why it's doing sometimes it takes into early evening uh, for my data service to update some of these specific things I don't know if it's for whatever reason and uh, usually I have to go out and manually do it and then I forgot to do it before the video so I apologize but I think the dollar did pull back a little bit today um, the uh, the other one US oil let's take a look at that oil dropped down today but again it's not showing dramatic in here we're kind of like sideways for the last couple two days but it did close uh, to the towards the lower end of the uh, the range today but either way these last three days have broken out of this consolidation that we were in so it is definitely looking like it's wanting to trend back down to the downside and the last one we're going to take a look at is gold spider gold ETF and again this is a little sideways move today almost unchanged down 0 0.03 uh, so kind of a sideways move let's see if we're getting divergence on this Move. Well, that's good. Volume and that. And yeah, there's no divergence in there. And no divergence on the DI minus. And no divergence on the demand index. So we're not getting any divergence on this move. So no bottom in sight on that move yet. All right, that's it for the ETFs. Now I want to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the stocks that we've got tonight. I'll start off here with uh, with GoPro, and here it is. Okay, so this is one I put out a trade idea on GoPro today. Uh, I was looking for to to make the move back over here on the 10th, which was Tuesday. Uh, after this down move, you know, 20 20 day low in here new 20 day low pulls up closes below that 20 day low was looking for a break back above it didn't happen but I still liked the way we we're getting divergence out of this move down here we're getting bullish divergence you know the indicators not continuing to, to rise indicator didn't go low here uh, the demand index the RSI also did not confirm this move down here and, and then a couple other things. This looks like a declining wedge to me, and we had a little bit of a throwover, which a lot of times you get that out of a wedge at the very end. Uh, and so we're getting a little bit of a throwover. We're getting this support coming in right at near the low over here, and then we come back up here. And so I, I, uh, I thought it was worth a shot 
to uh, to kick because you can get a pretty good little bounce and pretty good little bear rally, you know, bear market rally out of this, and it could be turning because uh, it's come down quite a way. So right now, you know, I'm looking for that turn, looking for a pretty sharp bounce out of uh, GoPro. We'll see if we get it. Let's, see, let's take a look at the um, and eh, the volume wasn't great. Uh, let me look at that. Let's see, yeah, the volume, this dotted line again is the 50 day moving average of volume I like to see. And the last three days have been below that, but um, we'll see if that changes tomorrow. All right, so that's GoPro. I mean, it's come down quite a ways. And Lulu, Lulu Lemon. There we go. It knows where I want to go. Okay, so. Lulu had has had a heck of a run. Come up here. We got some divergence up here, and then it's just starting to break down, roll over. But really, it's just pulled back to the 55-day moving average. So the long-term trend is now up. The intermediate-term trend is up. The short-term trend pulled down a little bit with this move. Uh, we'll see whether or not this break means. I mean, you could almost make the case that you got a little bit of an island here. Uh, yeah, you see this. I just happened to see that for the first time, actually, because you got this gap right here and you got this gap right here. You got a gap here. Uh, this is kind of a breakaway gap, kind of a runaway gap and an exhaustion gap is the way I would characterize these gaps right now. And so now you get another gap over here on the other side. We could have a little island that just popped in and um, if that's the case, we need to be kind of watching this, that this is rolling over and coming on down. Uh, okay, so I need to keep my eye on that. Las Vegas Sands. Las Vegas Sands, this just continues. It just can't, the, the casino stocks just cannot get uh, any footing under. They're just struggling. You know, the, you just continue to get bad news out of Macau every time we turn around. Let me get rid of these because I thought maybe we were fan lining it. But then with this breakdown move, that's not, that's not helping. That's not going the right direction at all. So again, we continue to break down here. Um, we're actually closing at, you know, below these lows. We haven't traded below the low, but it's the lowest close in here since when? I mean, who knows? And let me get my slow down. 30, we're at 51.92 today. So again, back to, you know, the June, July of 2013. So we're coming up on, uh, on two-year closing lows with Las Vegas Sands. Um, I don't think we're getting any divergence. Nothing on the RSI, nothing on the DI minus, and nothing on the demand index. So right now, this is a, it's in a downtrend. It, again, it was trying to trend. Short-term trend was turning higher, and then the short-term trend broke down. You can see it. You can see with this action right in here, you know, breaking this trend. It broke it, bounced back up start roll back over and now it looks like it wants to take the uh, 21 down below the 55 too. It's almost like it wants to do that. So we'll see whether uh, you know what it does. Uh, you know pretty strong little move here to the downside. And uh, Melco Crown Entertainment's doing a similar thing. Okay, similar type action. Again, looked like we had a little bit of a symmetrical triangle broke out. Again, looked like it was trying to get a bottom, make a bottom and then it just it just broke broke everything so um, not a very positive picture on uh, on these casino stocks right now and you just got to say that uh, you know the, the, the short-term trend just keeps reinforcing that the move is not over to the downside I don't believe all right the last one we're going to take a look at is Cena I haven't looked at this in a long long time and uh, and I did not put what this is Oh, let me type it up there. Hold on. Okay, this is a Chinese stock that uh, is headquartered in Shanghai and has been trading for a long, long time. The stock's been around since 1997. Uh, and uh, this, you can see, that had the high. If we go all the way back up here, the high of the last several years was back in, in early 2011. So it has been in, had a pretty sharp, you know, down move, just kept trending and counter trending, you know, down. 
uh, into 2013, got this rally uh, into uh, late 2013, and then it's just rolled over and continued to go down. And I think part of the problem I, I think was seen, all I don't know for sure, is they've got this uh, chat line or uh, some kind of online chat platform, Weibo. And uh, because of the crackdown that the government's had with online and, and uh, different things like that, I think that's been hurting Weibo a little bit. Um, don't know all the details. And all I know is that this move here, uh, this downdraft in here, is because their earnings missed. Okay, so their, their earnings missed. And... Uh, you know, I think it was below expectations, and uh, I think it was even below the year earlier quarter of same quarter. So, got hit pretty hard, and we're not seeing any. I mean, this is pretty pretty strong oversold. And again, yeah, the RSI is down at 16, but sometimes when it makes a move like that, just like to the upside, uh, it's kind of saying this is going in that direction. You know, it, you know, I wouldn't be all of a sudden going, wow, it's really really low. I should buy. You know, this is telling you it's kind of reaffirming a down move, in my opinion. That's what you got to be careful of. And uh, no divergence that I'm seeing. And same thing here on the demand index. Now, sometimes you can get at an extreme where you know a bounce is coming. But again, you're just playing Russian roulette in terms of, you know, whether or not you're really going to get a bounce, at least from the daily, looking at the daily bars. So right now, I just have to say that this is just reinforcing the trend. It's just breaking to new lows below this, uh, you know, these support and these lows that it had back in here. Um, so not a whole lot of good news in terms of a picture. I'd almost have to take that across like that in terms of the picture out of uh, on Cena. So that's it for tonight. I'll be back on Saturday. So if you're watching this anywhere else, but besides my website, head on over there, check out the posts and uh, the other material I've got there for you. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe gives you access to the Trade Ideas webpage. And there's another page, I think, that I've also uh, uh, got a password protect on. So it'll give you access to that. You get to download the free PDF I've got for you, the five essentials. So first name and email, and you'd be good to go. So until next time, everyone stay focused. Follow your plan and trade without fear. Have a great Friday, everyone.